18. I got this by trading one of the other guys in my association. This is not actually the box for it. Like I said, it was a trade. This is actually for my HFC box 17. Um, it's a nice gun. Like I said, it's a token roof. These are Japanese made guns. They do have lower FPS than guns like Token Ruiz, or guns like Classic Armies, or American made guns, because of the fact they are Japanese and in its own FPS. In Tokyo and Japan, there's no license issues, so they have full Glock 17, or Glock 18 trademarks on the gun. As you can see there on the slide, they're somewhat faded because, like I said, they're a trade. Here it has the fluted barrel like on the real one. And also, it's got a different set of sights here, because it doesn't have the double dots. It's got a strand um, This is not real. It also has a nice serial number on the bottom here. This isn't as realistic as the other ones, because the safety is right here, actually, which is a toggle switch. Safety off, safety on. It's also got a double safety. Here, you see how there's a double trigger? You have to depress the center of the trigger to fire as well. Um, it's a really solid gun. Nice trademarks are a nice thing. The Glock Perfection, Glock Perfection, um, Semi, Bully, Semi, Bully. It's got a nice selector switch, easy to use when you're holding it. And uh, the battery actually goes inside here. Unlike on the uh, Glock, unlike on the black gas blowback, there's no internals here. The gearbox is all contained here and down in here. And there's not a full size magazine. The magazine looks like this. Because, like I said, the gearbox and the motor are all contained in here. The magazine is a 30 round magazine. You can also get a 100 round capacity magazine, but it come out to about here, like on the real Glock 18. Um, the hop up wheel is right here. And the hop up is nice and easy to use. Um, the gun is fairly accurate, does about 220 FPS. And uh, the magazine is speed loader compatible. So, great thing to have is a speed loader because you can load it right up real easy. It feels about the same as a uh, gas blowback when it's fully loaded up. And they do make gas pullback Glock 18s, but I do not have one, and I won't be doing a video review unless I can get my hands on a friend of mine. This is a 7.2 volt, 200 milliamp NICAD battery, specifically made by Token Rui. Now, if you're going to get one of these, you should probably get a discharger, due to the fact that NICADs do need to be conditioned. But, they also make a NAM battery that is 500 milliamps, and instead of having silver writing, it has green writing. You can get that from uh, almost any airsoft retailer if they sell quality merchandise. It's got this nice little clip switch right here that's got a spring loaded screen that pops out the uh, battery right here. And the uh, gearbox, the hop up, you got it down for down, up for up. It's got, it's got a nice little assembly. And uh, you can't actually fire it with the slide off, but it will only fire in full or in semi because you have to have this little rod, like you see right here, inside the gun for fully automatic fire. It's been loaded. Um, I'm not sure if there was an orange tip. There is an orange residue on the inside, but I don't believe it came with an orange tip. If it did, it was removed. But uh, 220 FPS, it's got a great range. It probably does, with the hop up fully dialed up, it'll probably go 50 or 60 feet. And it's got the nice rail down here. Like I said with the trademark, it's got the rail down here, so you can mount a flashlight or a laser pointer. And it's just a nice gun all around to have. It's a great sidearm, especially if you're playing in cold weather climax, because uh, gas blowback doesn't do the best in cold weather. But this gun performs great, no matter where you are. Great trademarks, great weight, beautiful to have. So uh, if you're going to get yourself an AP, go ahead and get this instead of the SEMA. It's 150 bucks. But it's probably one of the best Tokyo Marie AEPs. Don't get the USB. Don't get the MK23. Get this. It's beautiful. It performs nice. And it's great to have at your side. Uh, this is Warm Iron Software doing another review. Stay tuned for the uh, review of my Classic Army 
M15A4, my tactical gear, and my new white Wii 1911. Thanks for tuning in to Swarm Airsofter, and uh, subscribe to my channel, favorite me, like my video, leave your post, post your comments, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Remember, check out Flanker Tanker for over 70 gun reviews, and uh, check out the SC SCAA at uh, scairsoft.com, and uh, stay tuned for, my, for the rest of my videos. I'm out.